What's going on, people? It's me, the superstar, Drew Sterling, and I'm here again with another special guest. Uh, you know when you're doing well in life, you um, you go past going. You know when you go to the shop. Let's say, for example, Louis Vuitton. You're going Louis. You but you buy the shit. You put Instagram. You stunt. Cool, cool, cool. We've gone past them stages now. Now we're meeting the people behind the brand, the people that bring the Louis to the Vuitton. I'm with my infamous guest. Some of you may not know him, but he's going to introduce himself. Good? I'm good, bruv. I'm good. I'm good, you right? I'm not too bad, sir. For those who don't know who you are, I know who you are. Please tell the people who you are. I'm, I'm, I'm Dines, creative director of uh, Studio Blup, designer you see in London, and basically we make things look sick. <laughs> simple, simple. All right, so someone's in our house thinking, why is he just going to go to anyone? Anyone does designs, anyone does... No, my people, it's not even that type of party. This, we're talking real designs. So please, tell, tell, them, tell them some of the stuff you've done, please. Let's, let's do some name drops. All right, all right. Um, hey, listen, listen. Uh, we've been a design agency for what, five, five years. I set it up with me and my business partner. Um, literally came from nothing. Um, we had no investment. Uh, we ain't got no rich parents. Uh, I've always been like an artist, like a digital artist. Mm. Studied uni- uh, study at university graphic design, mm-hmm. and um, I thought, you know what, let's let's start up a little business. But we'll, we'll talk about it a bit later. Yeah. Um, but the companies that we've eventually worked for is um, Dolce Gabbana, Jesus, <laughs> Adidas, Jesus, Nike, Jesus, Chelsea, Woo! England. <laughs> Drew's getting happy, isn't it? Drew. <laughs> well, he's the brand. He's the brand. I spotted him. Um, the the rest the rest is history, man. Like you know, what I mean, uh, the big big names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, before I get into we get into how, why you started and whatever, why the name Studio Block? Was it Block? Bl- Bl- yeah. Why is why do you see the? Bl- you know what it is there? Uh, like when you're coming up with a name for like a design agency or like something that like, different. Especially in design, like you, you get the like the you get the, the bait names in it, like yeah. fresh design or yeah, yeah, yeah. incognito or like yeah, yeah, yeah. dark design in it. Um, so the word blup came from I used to I used to graffiti in it back in the day, and B L U P were my favorite letters. Yes, because my my tag was Dines, but I used to always write blup in it. Yeah. So I start with that name, nice and simple. And um, when I when I met my business partner, he was, he was at university with me. Yeah. I thought we were gonna have to change the name in it because. We want to aim for like the corporate companies mm, and stuff mm, like that. Mm. And it was when we got our first corporate company client, old school guy, like 50 millionaire. Shit. Like, and he, like, he, loved, he loved the direction, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said, What's the name? I said, Blup. He loved it. Yeah. And that just like confirms like the initial instinct was a made up word, like Google was made up, innit? It's Blup. And it kept, it kept, I stuck it with that. So, how much is, obviously, don't give us a direct figure, but how much is the most. Uh, expensive something you've done for somebody um, 65 grand for fucking hell <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> huh? 65k bro. but listen to me bro like 65 grand yeah for graphics for graphics but don't forget don't forget when you create something and you create a demand in something different, people will pay the money. Pay Do you know the funny thing? You know, people, when I pulled up out here, if you see this guy's Porsche outside, crazy. <laughs> crazy. License plate, block. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, um, obviously, so, it went, when you started, it went 65 grand. No. So, it was the struggles you had to go through to get to where you are today. But Don't get me wrong, before you say, some people who are, who are watching this, yeah. they will know of you. Mm. Do you know what I mean? They will know what you, the stuff you've done. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? For those who don't, just, you know. Well, I'll start from, like, the, the top, innit? So we just finished, like, the, the Chelsea campaign for the kit launch. Yeah. Huge. Massive. Um, that was with Nike. Yeah. Um, so what, for the Adidas launch? Uh, for, the, for the Nike kit launch okay, for, yeah, for, yeah. for Chelsea. You'll see it, it's all over the Instagram, everywhere. The one that just come up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just come up. Oh, just come fresh. Up. And for us, like that's all we've been working towards, because when you How get how long was that project? Uh, the funny thing is that project was two weeks. Mm. It's a two-week-long project. Um, Do you have um, 
Deadlines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, like, basically, what happened was like the original campaign. I don't think Nike were happy with it. Mm. Um, just through my contacts and like done stuff with them before. He phones me up. He's like, "Dines, like, listen, we need we need to basically do something sick." Yeah. Um, love the star, blah, blah blah. So I was up till like four a.m. with him. I remember we went to the Nike, the, the Spurs kit launch. Mm. We both got like drunk, mm. and then he's like, "Oh, but when you go back, can you make a quick couple of changes?" And we're, we're drunk. And I said, of course I'll. It's Nike, innit? I was like, of course I'll do it. Send it to him. So then he meets his deadline. The campaign was a success. But yeah, that's that's like, that was from the top, innit? But Drew, man, like, to get there, like, Alex and I, my, Alex, my business partner. Yeah. Um, speak a bit later, like, we had to eat shit, man. Like... Because you know, what, whenever I interview people that are, like, doing something productive, with anything, when you start something, it's, it's, it's not 65 grand or Porsches. It's... When you started, it's yeah. hard, like, you know Adrian Broner? Yeah, yeah Me and him, yeah. You see, uh, water and cornflakes. Oh, I see. Calor- There's no calories in that. Healthy, though. That was my favourite dish, straight. Serious? Oh, man. Sorry. Like, even when you told me about when you was, when you was, when yeah, you had a pound bar, when you had to eat chips, that's like, but I, I, I remember, I remember literally, yeah. like, um, I used to buy, we, we found, me and Alex found this website yeah, yeah. that was sold secondhand food. <laughs> It was the box was damaged. The, like the flower had all flower like uh, this guy's like oh we were getting waffles and they were like it's in Polish. I was thinking, wow, oh, like, but, but this was twenty this was twenty p. Yeah, so yeah, you were saying it's <laughs> second second hand food. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it got to a point where like so Alice, yeah, Alice found this like this website, and uh, we were struggling, like literally. Because if you think about it, we're, we're making say say hundred pound in it, and we had to split up between two, and we had to make six hundred pound each rent in London. So, but we couldn't afford to eat. Mm-hmm. So he found this like this second hour food thing. I can't remember, it's, I can't remember what it's called, but it's, it was sick. It was a wicked idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you used to get like washing up powder, everything in it for like ten pound, like not ten pound, like a, a whole trolley full for like ten pound. Mm. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, no. is it like a market or they deliver? It's, they deliver. Oh, they deliver. Like but it's, it's 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 good, isn't it? But like I said, like you, got, you had the the bread, it was like broken, and then you had the biscuits that were like just fell off the shelf, that were crumbled up. Mm-hmm. But that's the shit I had to do, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the shit I had to do. It's like from the ground up. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was missing out with the chicks, parties, all of that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like that's the thing. Like obviously I, I had a missus. You know what I mean, at the time. So, <laughs> so, so what was the big break then? What what was it that? You know, when did the the gates open? Um, I think know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the the, the true gates open when um, I was featured in a magazine, mm. and it was like one of the biggest like design magazines out there. Um, mm. It was called Computer Arts. And brother, I remember getting like, I remember getting that like email from Computer Arts and saying like, yeah, we want to want to interview. I was like sick, so so I said, submit some artwork, blah blah. We interview, blah blah. So submitted that, and the next minute, like, I've got a two-page feature. Mm. Then I started building up fans, and I started people like want yeah. to see, yeah, specifically people want to see my work, and then people want to collaborate. And then when you're going into meetings, you can say, look, we've just been featured in this magazine. This was this was when magazines were like, you know, what I mean, still hot. Yeah, yeah, this was before social media, so this was the only means of actually like mm. getting your name out there. So that added a bit of prestige. And for us, that was like the break and we can like bounce off that. And then from then on, like, yeah, um, we got a phone call from Adidas. Um, and it was to do some like Olympic flyer back in the day. And um, so we used that. that, that so, wait, wait, so let me, let's reenact it. So yeah. you're chilling. Yeah. Did, 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 did. Hello, yeah. Is that, who's this? Oh, this is Adidas. Or, or do they obviously, is this, this? I'll tell, tell you this situation, give me your phone. Dude, when you when you getting your phone fixed? Oh, <laughs> when, when you when you play me, bro. <laughs> nah, bro, you, when you, bro, you're gonna make a million before me, bro. Oh man, don't say that. <laughs> so literally, I was like chilling, and then like I think I must have been. This is in Southampton, isn't it? Yeah. And I must be hung over. I get a phone call. Didn't recognize the number. Yeah. You, have you seen Entourage before? Yeah. Yeah. You know Harvey Gold, the the, the main guy. He was like he was like yeah, Vinny yeah, Chase's yeah, agent, yeah, like the main guy. Yeah. When he got a, a massive deal through, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I celebrating, yeah, innit? Yeah. So I always, I always went to that moment, innit? So anyway, so I get a phone call. And he said, hi, it's Steins. He's like, yeah, yeah. Um, this is um, so-and-so from Adidas. What? I thought it was a prank, innit? I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah. How, how you doing? You all right? Like, my posh voice, innit? Yeah. And um, 
And she's like, oh, yeah, we've got a brief. I saw some of your work online in that magazine. Um, I'd like to get you into the office. I was like, oh, yeah, cool. Like, what's your budget? Like, yeah, definitely up for it. Like, proper thing is that one of my mates like, like, yeah. proper blagging me. And she's like, okay, I'll, I'll send you an email. I was like, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, send it. <laughs> Next minute, I get an email off. Added that logo. I was thinking, fuck. But luckily, because I thought it was a prank, I was playing it extra, like, nice. Yeah. And then next minute, we, was, we travelled up to London, yeah. um, had that meeting um, with Adidas. Did they pay for you? Yeah, bruv. To get there? No, 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 no. They, 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 they pay for us to, to like, I don't know. Things are like, bruv, when you're working with the big brands, like, they, they don't really care. You get me? Because if you think about it, like, they've, they've got the world at their feet. So what they. Do you, what do you mean they don't care what about the little things like travel and stuff? But they don't care about the, the designer. Oh. They don't care about because at the end of the day it's like a privilege. This is don't forget this is at the early stage. Isn't yeah. it? You're honoured to work for the big brands, so you're paying to get on here. Like, um, uh, <laughs> your, your budget. This is the budget. It's nothing. It's barely nothing, isn't it? Yeah. So because we're all nobody, we just had to say yes, isn't it? Mm. And then when that happens, then um, we've done the work, um, smashed it. And then once we had the Adidas logo, we get ever like yeah, we, we yeah, got yeah. work. Sure. So um, <laughs> do you ever? Yeah, bro. Your contacts. On the, <laughs> on the lashes in the eye. So obviously when that payment come through. Yeah. I remember what was you down to your last ten or twenty? Ah yeah yeah. Um, right. So this is when we was in debt. Um, so the the small print was we had to get it printed, and the way we were perceived online looked like we were big in it. Um, so they thought we could afford like three and a half grand to get these invites printed. So they're like, deliver it to us printed. So I was like, fuck. So like, we paid to get it printed, zero money in it. Like, um, luckily we had like a little bit of cash from the last like job, paid it. So our bank account was zero. We turned up to act to, to the, the PR company who was looking after the whole event. And they said to us like, this is good, but where's the envelopes for the invites? And we was like, what? They went, in the brief, it said these envelope invites have to be in envelopes. And it was like, if you don't deliver it by like 12 o'clock, it's like 10 o'clock in the next two hours, we're not going to pay you. And it was like, well, we've already paid for print. We're going to be minus three and a half grand down. And if you don't deliver this in two hours, then we're not going to pay them. We wouldn't have fucked. Um, Who was saying this to you? The PR company. They were ruthless. That's what I mean. They don't, they don't give a shit. They didn't, give, they didn't care. Because we were no one at the time, they, talk, they spoke to us like, mm. we're not going to pay you. And obviously, two young guys like I can remember sitting in the car and reading that email about the, the, the envelopes. Mm. It was raining, and we was up all night packing, like we were up all night folding these like, invites. We got it somewhere, shaking on coffee, like just to hit this deadline at six a.m. We deliver it, and then they hit email saying that. So anyway, so we went up to Camden trying to find these envelopes, rushing, rushing. Like, I was nearly crying, bro, because I was thinking I ain't got money to. Mm-hmm. So I mean, they delivered it literally bang on time, and I said, "Yeah, it's a great running event." So um, you get no envelopes? Did you pay for it or you just... Yeah, yeah, we had to like, we had to make a deal with what, the envelope guy and say like, look, we'll pay you back, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, and you know what, the job, the job ended up being like 10 G, you know what I mean, 10 grand. But it was worth, it was worth the hustle because one, it taught us, read the brief. Two, people would treat you like shit. If you're no one, bruv. If you're no one, they would, they would, they would, they would just treat you like shit. Mm. And not only that, it was like the PR company. Yeah. And three, if like, if you're, if you're not hard and tell them like, no, you're paying us either way. It was, was young, innit? And we was just like, yes, 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 we'll do it. And because of that, we learned so much in our first like month, like in London, um, that you had to be strong. It's ruthless. You ha- it's, it's a ruthless industry. Yeah, yeah. You, you have to put game face on. You have to be pretend you're bigger than you are. If not, then you're, you're just going to lose. So fast forward to now. Now we're in this beautiful uh, studio. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six chairs, yep. one of you, mm-hmm. that tells me there's people working here. Yeah, man. Um, you know what, I always had dreams of having like a team of 50, 100 people, innit? Mm. But you know what, it got, it got to a point where like, we were growing and we're getting working, we're getting, and I think there was about nine of us at one point. And bruv, like, the overheads were getting stupid, like, because we had to pay people on time, like, your employees, innit? So that means we had to say yes to just shit work, just to pay the bills. And I felt like I was losing a little bit of control of like the quality because we just had to do things. And if I didn't have that thought, we was going for like pitches and just saying yes to it and like just stuff that was going out. I didn't want people to know we'd done it. And I realized like, it's not about having that team of 50. It's about having like a tight crew 
that's on your same wavelength that want to achieve the same results as you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And then like, as soon as I, like, me and Alex figured it out, it's just like, you know what? Smaller team, maximum profit. And that means we're free to do the creative stuff that yeah, you see. Yeah, yeah. So what are you guys working on now? Anything big? <laughs> what, what? Uh, from what I can say. Um, Anyone we know? Okay, like we're working with a couple of music, music, uh, mm. music, music artists mm. uh, for Sony. Mm. Um, what blew us up again? Um, we did the Wiley album, album cover, um, and that like got us like recognition in like the music scene. Um, we've worked with like Getz um, because of that, and we we've, we've submitted ourselves in the kind of like grime kind of scene. Um, we've been to all the shows, so we're working with a few guys up and coming. Mm. Um, we've got another couple of massive like, branding projects as well. Um, but other than that, you know, it's just like, how can we develop mm. like, and have stuff that like, we're proud of? Um, and then a couple of things with like, Puma and everything. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's good, man. What's the mum mom saying about this? The pe- you know what? Before you started, do people believe in what you believed in? Yeah. Like, before you started? No way. Everyone's like, oh, wow. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just sell some drugs in the shop, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, well that's the thing, isn't it? I've always, I've always been to art, so I, I kind of stayed out of trouble and all that, mm. it? because for me, like when I was younger, I grew up in like West London, Brentford. Mm. Where the girls is at? Yeah, bruv. Mm. Fucking hell. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's a fucking... <laughs> uh, I love that side. I'm a journalist, though. Huh? Yeah? I'm a journalist. Are you? That's yeah. my job. Bruv, I can tell, innit? Yeah. Bruv, you're top, you're top of your game. Oh, hey, listen, let me, let, me, let me tell the people here, actually. Yeah. When I first saw you... Yeah. And I had to pick you out, innit? So basically, well, okay, what, so what happened was, just quickly, just quickly. So I just done this talk at, um, at, uh, at uh, Somerset House. S- seminar? Yeah, a little seminar. A little, oh, little, little, yeah, 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 yeah. And, I, and like, you know when you're talking, you, you, everything goes like all oh, hazy, innit? Uh, next time I just look, look up. Like, your head must have just poked. I see this guy with that, the same side with the glasses, innit? I was thinking, wow, who's, who's this guy, innit? <laughs> so at the end, innit? At the end of the thing, I was like... I went up to him, innit? I was like, bruv, you got the X Factor, bruv. And then, but this is before I, I knew you had your show, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I've got to know this guy yeah, yeah, yeah. because that's the thing. You're, like, I remember I said to you, like, you're a brand, innit? And for you to have that from, and for, for you to have that recognizable look, mm, mm. you have to maintain that, bruv, because you need people. That's how you're going to win business because people recognize you, innit? Um, so, yeah, so I just, I just had to throw yeah, that. No, bruv, to be fair, people don't even know because it was like two and a half hours. Just sitting there now, I'm shit. Even when I go to church, I'm, within five minutes, I'm fidgeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't go no more. But I took a lot from that seminar. Wicked. Bro. I took a lot from that seminar. So. Good, 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 good. But, um, so, yeah, talk about music. What are you into? What type of music? Obviously, you said grime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right now, music's blowing up. Whoa. Still. Let me tell you something about grime. Because, so obviously, I, I like, you know, I'm good friends like Flirt D, Logan Sama, all like the, the grime, like, legends and stuff. yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, you know when it like started popping off mm. and like all these like kids started getting on, like it was good for the scene. But the only thing I, I, I felt was like Grime could go one way or the other in it. True. And if I can actually like make an impact in Grime music by producing good quality design mm. and giving it that like, kind of like polished look, I've done my part for the, the music industry in it. Mm. And because we're in that, I love it even more, man. You know what I mean? Mm. So like for me, like you know, I'm I'm, I'm into my like my, my trap. Um, grime. What about UK, like, um, gangs? No. What, what you, six, like, seven? Stuff, no, no, not, not even that, like, sea bizzes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm going to mention some of them with the gangs. Gigs. Gigs. Yeah, so, Stuff like all, the, all, the, all the drillers, yeah? Yeah. 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 Well, we, yeah. well, we work with, um, with, um, with six seven, like you know, what I mean, the, the crew from um, yeah. from Brixton, yeah. and for me again, it's like you know, we design their website and um, working with them like on a couple of like, projects as well. And for me, it was just like spotting them from early because like the UK sounds sick in it, and like um, like with gigs, big fan. I met him a couple of times, like um, just a cool guy, the sound, everything that he's got. And at this moment in time, Brit- British music, British rap mm-hmm. in general, mm-hmm. is killing it. He's yeah, absolutely killing it. 15 million views. That like Jay Huss, did you see on like 30 million? Yeah. It's crazy. Love. And like, obviously, I know the people who work with Jay Huss as well. And like, um, I've done a couple of mood boards for Jay Huss's album cover as well. And oh, yeah. um, so, like, and that was, that was through Black Butter, Sony. Oh, yeah, Black Butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a good time. It's good. Santan Dave, like, 
all these all these men like they're, they're they're creating the splash in the music scene and I'm proud. Do you know what I'm mad? I remember I was just saying to my boss over there, uh, Bashi did a fire in the booth, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Then it came to a certain point and he's like, ah, oh, we're just trying to meet the, meet the people behind the brands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's not about buying the shit no more. It's about hanging with the, you know, the people making that. Like, why would you go and buy lubes when you can go and hang with Christian Lute Leboot on yourself? Do you know what I mean? Of course, of course. And now... When I met you that day, I went home and I slept in my bed. I was thinking, Jesus, I know what the cunt was talking about. Is this maybe people behind the brands? So people have seen your work, but they'll never... To us, obviously, we just think, oh, it's just one of these things. But, yeah, yeah, of course. You know what I mean? um, and that's the thing, isn't it? Like, it's all, in this industry, yeah, it's not about like stealing a limelight or trying to, and trying to like, make a name for yourself. Because in that, I feel that you're putting your fame before the work. For example, like we could like say when we done the Wiley cover, yeah, we could have like PR'd the f- like hell out of that. Mm. We could have said like we're the guys, da da da, like yeah, we're number ones. But the fact is that like, we kept it so low key, apart from on our Instagram, innit? Yeah. If you know, you know, innit? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And you know what? We, we left money on the table because we could have gone to all the record labels and say like we're the guys. So you're telling me right now, if you're leaving money on the table. Mm. Mate, I'm not Dexter, Dexter's laboratory, but if someone's leaving money on the table, yeah. that means they've got a lot of money on the plate. <laughs> yeah, so it's going, going good, bro. <laughs> going good. Yeah. Bro, let this, like, all right, you want to talk about figures, yeah? Okay, so... That's what they care about. Yeah, it's so cunts. This year, like, we're, we're looking at hitting, like, over a quarter of a million. Like this now, yeah. Quality. 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 Like, you know what I mean? Like when I say like when I say loopholes, it's like he's like, I can claim this computer back from the tax man. I was like, can you? He's like, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Like I've got it sorted. Yeah. But that's him studying the game, isn't it? Yeah, you got because the game. I'm not talking about like we pay our taxes, obviously, yeah, yeah. but I'm talking about like pay our taxes. Wink, wink. Yeah, yeah no, we do, we do, we have yeah. to. But we have, we have to. A little bit, little bit coming, isn't it? Oh, no. But like, but then when when you're like, wink. yeah, 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 them ones, isn't it? Uh, so obviously we're nearing the end of this. Say for example, so Dolce, what do you do for Dolce? Oh, with Dolce Banner. Yeah. Um, so did they give you pieces after, like, clothes and stuff? Nah, nah, so that was for their fragrance. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Did they give you free perfume, then? Yeah. yeah. I had a box somewhere, like... The thing is, yeah, listen, listen. Drew, Drew, I don't, I don't, I don't know where it is. Jesus. This is, this is quite a while ago. Do you know what it is? I'm after some, some girl here. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Lily. And, um... <laughs> who's, who's Lily? Tell me about her. Hey, Shakira. Oh, Shakira. There's loads of them. Oh, okay. I need, I need to um, impress her, you know what I mean? But, Drew, you, I, I, know you, I know you clean up, bruv, like... Huh? Oh. I don't know. But when you're, when you're, when you're famous, bruv. That's what I'm it's, waiting for. I ain't even got no groupies, bruv. I can't huh? even get over 600 fucking followers. Bruv, no, no, no. It's, it's, oh, you have got I'm groupies, tired. but they, they're, they're going to come out. Trust me, they're going to come out of the woodworks, bruv. And then they're going to, like, because I don't, I don't need to chirp, but I can, I can get you the hottest thing in the club if you want it, because you deserve it. But you got to have a chat to back me up, though. Come on, dog. Yeah. If I had to do It flows you. off my tongue correctly. If I had to do Correctly. You. What's, your, what's your opening line, bruv? It could be, but I've seen me. I'm unorthodox. It could be anything. Yeah. It could be anything. So it depends how I feel. Say for example, there's there's a girl there. Mm. If, if we're in the club, I just rub up on her by accident. Okay. Just, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what? What? She start. Uh, sorry. And you're gone from there. Let me, it could be anything. Let me let me give you a little hack, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so when you when you say in a club or like if you're going carnival Sunday, yeah, Saturday, Monday. Find me there. Yeah, yeah. You can just trust me. You kill it. One thing I would say to you is like. Always smile, wasn't it? Mm. Do you know what it is? I don't even meet the girls, you know. They come to you, innit? No, I'm a boss. Huh? I feed off his scraps, that guy over there. Yeah, I know. I, but, but, trust me, really. You see the gold teeth in his mouth? Oh, oh. In the glasses. When he walked in with the fucking McGregor glasses, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, 
<laughs> Where's the McGregor glasses? Uh, McGregor. Only him and McGregor's got those. Really? Yeah. Say like the day when I blow up. Jesus. Nah, nah, nah. It's I ain't gonna hit in UK things. Huh? I ain't gonna be messing with no UK girls. Was it more like the Russian thing or what was? was... No way. Huh? American. <laughs> Spanish, Latino. Bro, I go there. Colombia. Brother, all, the, all of them, I got them in my slippers. Yeah, I, I'm not even taking no... Them, yeah. hmm? Nigeria, all the... Nigerian nah, 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 nah. Who's the most famous person you've... That I know? Yeah. Uh, I can't really say mm. too much, but... Um, okay, let's say... I can't, I, I'm not going to ask that question, bro, because it's going to get in trouble. <laughs> Why is it going to get in trouble? Yeah, yeah, Come on, the fans, look. Huh? I'll ask him one sec. They're asking, they want to know. All right, it's basically, it's, it's, it's someone from Game of Thrones. See, I don't even watch it. Do you watch Game of Thrones? Cool, that's all. That's a good, so, that's so, a good answer. Someone from GOT, but like... Do you watch that Game of Thrones? But listen, Buffett, you know when, when you... Yeah, I love it, I love it. Mm. But when you, when you um, like I said to you earlier, isn't it? When you, mm. I meet, I've met so many people, in it. I can imagine uh, But like I said to you earlier, you can't act like you're starstruck, innit? Because mm. that's when they switch off. I remember one guy told to me, he's a photographer, and I remember meeting him at Fashion Week, innit? And um, he's like, I know Kylie Jenner. No, um, what's his sister's name? Uh, Kendall Jenner. Uh, Crystal. One of them, one of the Ks. The, the, the skinny one, a model. Uh, what's Fuck knows. Kendall, I, 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 what's her name? What's... Kylie, Kylie, oh, Kendall. <laughs> Kylie, Kendall. Uh, yeah, it's Kendall. Yeah. Yeah, it's Kendall. Kendall. Yeah, yeah, and he was like, you know what? I, he's like, I can text him right now. I was like, how did you become friends? He's like, all I had to do was just be her friend and not talk about anything celeb. Just have that conversation. Mm-hmm. Then she realizes you're a real, real guy and yeah, you're not yeah. in it for nothing. Yeah. So that, and I was early on in my career, and I thought, you're right. So when I meet people, I'm just saying, yeah, we're saying like, how's, how's things? Like, yeah. you know, what I mean, how's the family? You know what yeah. I mean, like, like, and they're looking at me like, do I know this guy? <laughs> and then you see their face, like, just become normal and then they're safe with you genuinely from the heart I don't care about celebrities man yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. to me to me you're a celebrity why because you've got a YouTube channel like you oh, know what I mean you've got the confidence yeah, yeah. like it doesn't matter who you are like you're making something of yourself and for me that's the most attractive thing so in a year's time you know what I mean like I said we want to be like we want to become that uh, million pound agency yeah. um, we want to be working with the, the world's like we are world's best brands mm-hmm. um, we're travelling to New York Dubai giving workshops but no, bro, thank you so much, man. I like to, like I said, I've been saying over and over again, meeting the people behind the brands. Uh, corporate world. I'm proud of myself. This is one of my favourite, because I like meeting people that are... Sometimes it gets a bit... You know, when I watch people's shows, it gets a bit boring, the usual this, that, that. It's yeah, boring, yeah. do you know what I mean? Sometimes you need to see the people behind. You're making the things that you're going to buy, spending your money on, and all of that shit. So, bro. Oh, it's a bit rude with the right, left hand. No, 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 that's, that's, that's the way, bro. No, no, no. Oh, okay. The Russians. You know the Russians. Yeah. If you sh- if if you shook your hand with a Russian man, yeah. in your left hand, he'd kill you. But you know, you know, you know that for me, that was I was I was comfortable with you just to kind of reach over and just mm. just relax and everything. No, no, for us. Oh, but for for normal, let's do it for Thank you, sir. Uh, You're a big guy. Let's get the stronger handshake. No, no. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, bro. No, man. Thank you so much. And uh, time, man. Where can people find you? Um, first of all, bruv, like. I'm, pr- I'm proud of what you're doing at the moment. Thanks. Like you're killing it, bruv. Like seriously, like, like I said to you, like I get a lot, I get a lot of um, officers do little uh, things like this, oh, podcasts and all their things. And like, sometimes I have to check the content first before I can put myself out there, isn't it? Because don't forget, I've got a brand to maintain. It's true, very true. When you sent me that link, I was like instantly, like I didn't even, w- I watched the first five seconds. I was like, bam, of course. <laughs> See how quick I've applied to you? Because yeah, like, yeah, you've yeah, got yeah, something yeah. special and you have to main, like, maintain that and just, yeah, just keep course, working hard, you know, so. Um, Don't forget this day, mate. You never know. This time next, where are we in? Christmas, who knows, mate? Yeah. I just fly over right now to, I don't know, Miami, mate. Sorry. But you can't come because you got a missus. Pop up in Miami. Pop up in Vegas. Mate, I haven't even been to freaking uh, Camden. Oh, yeah, because James travelled since 2008. Bro, 